Welcome to Solutions Studio. This is a free series on C programming language. If you like these videos, please subscribe to follow along with this series. Also, please like and leave a comment and share the video to help spread this series. Hello and welcome to this episode and in this episode we will be discussing about randomizing the random number generator. But first, let's go and review our previous program. In this previous program that we used it to roll a six-sided die, we used this function rand to generate the numbers from one to six, ten different generated numbers. Let's go and run this program. Now, as you can see, we have got these numbers. Let's go and copy them and put them here in a notepad file. Let's close this window. And now let's go and rerun this program. As you can see, the same sequence of numbers are generated once again. Well, this is intentional and by purpose. Ironically, this repeatability is an important characteristic of the function RAND. When debugging a program, this repeatability is essential for proving that corrections to a program will work properly. Once a program has been thoroughly debugged, it can then be conditioned to produce a different sequence of random numbers for each execution. And this process is called randomizing and is accomplished with the standard library function is rand. So let's go close this windows and see our next program where we have used the is rand function. This function is rand takes an integer argument and seeds the random function to produce a different sequence of random numbers for each program execution. Here I have written a program where we ask the user to enter a seed number and then those 10 random numbers are generated that are going to be between 1 and 6. Let's run this program. Our first seed will be 34. And as you can see, we got this sequence. Let's take a note of this sequence. Let's close this program and let's rerun it once again. This time we enter a different seed, for example, 67. And now we have got a different set of numbers compared to the last time when the seed was 34. And you noticed that a different sequence of random numbers is obtained each time the program is run and that is provided that we supply a different seed number. To create a random number without entering a seed each time, we can use a statement like this. This will cause the computer to read its clock to obtain the value for the seed automatically. This function time returns the number of seconds that have passed since midnight of January 1st, 1970. And then this value is converted to an integer and can be used as a seed to the random number generator. We will be talking about a null value in the coming episodes for you, so stay tuned and I will see you in the next episodes.